Hey guys, my name is Jordan and I just wanted to do a quick packing video on what I'm taking to the Dominican Republic with me um, while I get surgery. I'm getting the lipo, tummy tuck, muscle repair, and BBL with Dr. Joaquides Robles and I'm going on July 11th. No, July 12th, but my surgery will be on July 14th if I can get the days right. But um, I feel like a lot of people don't really know what to pack and we all kind of do our own little research on um, to choose what doctor, what to pack, what to take with us, what's needed, what's not needed. Obviously I haven't gone yet so I can't tell you what stuff is going to be needed um, quite yet but I'll do another video where I'll say rate 1 to 10 on what is definitely needed and what is not. You know, so let's get started. And don't mind my nails because like, yeah, I didn't feel like getting fixed today, okay? But anyway, so let's get started. Um, first, I want to say that um, I actually got a beauty in a box and I'll put the link down below. Um, it's like $300. They'll give it to you, uh, when you once you get out to the DR and it includes like um, extension cord, pads, uh, feminine wash, uh, gauze tape, all the kind of medical supplies you need. It's like a little a female urine, you're a female urinal comes with it too. Kind of like all the stuff that people say you need. I kind of got it just in case. Um, so I wouldn't go missing on anything that I need. I'll let you guys also know how that works out for me. Um, how well it worked for me, you know, if it was good, needed, waste of money, all that good stuff. So this is the stuff I bought on top of the beauty in a box that I heard that um, a lot of women needed or wish they had. So I'll start on that. Um, First, I also want to say I'm staying at a recovery house, 12-day um, recovery house. So a lot of the stuff like gauze, tape, gloves, they already have. Um, but I also want to make sure I have like all the supplies I need when I come home too. Again, not sure if I'll need it, but I'll let you guys know. So let's get started too. Okay. So what I have right here is I have a little, what is it called? Organizer for your money. Um, so... I have to pay a majority of it in cash, so I don't want to just have my cash just lying around everywhere. So I got a little organizer for it, and I haven't finished marking it or even started at all, but I will. Um, so right here, I'll have like how much cash I'll need for risk insurance, for oxygen chamber, meds, labs, all that good stuff. You get the point. So I'll have that. Um, and just a little organizer so I know exactly what I'm paying for and keep it organized so I know how much money I have and what I'm spending and all that good stuff. So there's that. Um, I also had gotten this little black baggie um, from Amazon. And like I said, I'll put everything in the description below so we know what we got going on. But this is like, you can fit, it's big enough to fit my little money thing in. I'm gonna put my passport in here, my phone, I'll probably carry my phone on me, I guess. Anyway, but my tablet I'm also going to bring just to have, and I'm going to set that all in here. And what it does, it's a cool little nifty thing. Again, I haven't started it or started to put the lock code on it, but you kind of like, you know, you put these little in the little thing and then you have to set like a lock code. And so you need like the lock code to open it back up. It seemed cool. I'm going to look further into it so I don't mess it up. So I really got to look on that. Passport, all the good stuff in here. Um, I would only recommend bringing your passport and like any um, documents with like your like your surgery quote or anything like that. I wouldn't bring your ID and all the other stuff. I don't think it's needed unless your doctor says so. Whatever. I don't think they would need it though. But, and then I got this really cute suitcase. I just want to show you guys. So cute, I love purple. So there's that. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, it actually matches my little, didn't even notice that, I swear I didn't. Okay, so then I have, I can open this thing up. I'm gonna do this as fast as possible, guys. They don't wanna be watching me all night. And again, if you guys have any recommendations or um, stuff that I'm missing, please comment so I know. Okay, kind of loud. All right, so um, 
I have a little handy dandy neck pillow. I heard this was very necessary. Um, a lot of the women said that it was nice to have, like, because they're kind of propped up, like, sitting down, so they don't really, can't position their heads in a, you know, it's kind of awkward, so this will help you support your head and make you more comfortable. This is really, I'm so sorry about my nails, like, it's bugging me, but this is, like, really squishy, like, memory foam. I got this from Walmart for, like, 17 bucks. Honestly, it's probably too much, but, you know, it looked comfortable. So, I have that, and it also came with, like, um... It came with this little, like, iPad, or what, is it eye mask? Sleeping mask? Little earplugs. This just came with it. I don't think you need this. Um, I heard cough drops. Just a little bag. Like, you can get these from the dollar store, honestly. Um, I heard just whenever you cough after your tummy tuck and muscle repair, you feel like you're dying. So, you don't want to be coughing. So, I got this just in case got that um dry shampoo we are going to be taking bird baths guys um they don't want us to take any showers or um anything like that be submerged in water until like all of our wounds are closed so from what i heard that was about like three-ish weeks so dry shampoo i'm gonna get that and my beauty in the box comes with uh, like i said feminine wash and a uh, wipes wipes are a big thing like i heard that a lot of women just say wipes 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 because you're going to be wiping your down self you're uh, wiping yourself down a lot and especially if you're going to the dominican republic like i am like it's really hot and you're gonna be sweating so you wanna wipe yourself down but i think like the wipes are really necessary anywhere um this is the arnicare gel looks like come on why is it doing this is it like there we go um this i heard is like a lifesaver um for your massages uh i heard the dominican republic ladies the uh, um, lymphatic drainage massages like they're a little bit more aggressive and a little bit more painful not to scare you that's what i heard um and these help a lot with the pain and the bruising and stuff like that i also heard that the um arnicare tea and the tablets for pain were really good too um so actually i might get those i might get those if you guys taken those comment below and tell me how you liked them um what else we got hairbrush can't forget that um i got this little like headpiece i don't know i just kind of want to be stylish i don't know i got that though um I got just little like face wipes. These were like from like the Dollar Tree. I don't know. Just to have. And a little face moisturizer. Nothing too fancy. Just to have. I don't know if I'll need it. Um, I got this lymphatic drainage drops. I got this from Amazon for maybe like mm, $15. Uh, apparently it helps with more drainage um, and from my understanding again I have not gotten surgery yet so I will confirm all this in another video but I've done a lot of research and talked to a lot of women that has gotten um, the same surgery I'm looking to get and they said that a lot of the um, when the fluids kind of built up it, it caused a lot of pain or it, it's like a burning sensation um, so I wanted to have this to kind of get my tea or um, drinks just putting some drinks you know just to help the drainage all flow out so hopefully it'll be a little bit of um relieving pain <sighs> sorry guys i'm kind of tired i'm trying here um i got this um wound therapy removes bacteria to promote healing this was recommended by a few ladies um this was to like clean like your belly button now um i'm assuming that this is like more so when you go home I'm just going to take it with me just in case, but this is more so, um, from my understanding when you go home, like to clean your belly button area. I also don't know, um, what would be best to like put in your belly button. Like some people like said like earplugs and I don't know. Some people said it like, or just like little gauze and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't look more into that too. Sorry. The girls are out today um vitamin c i heard that was good 
Oh, I'm gonna have show you guys something else too. Once I'm, I should get it now. Give me one second. All right, sorry. So um, I heard that this was really good. I got it from Amazon. It's called Heal Fast. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's um, surgical and injury support for pre-op healing. Um, it's, you can take this four capsules twice daily and it's for, I wanna say five days before surgery. I did ask my doctor um, if these were okay to take before surgery. She said yes, gave me the go-to. Please ask your doctor before taking any vitamins or supplements or anything like that, pills or anything um, before you go, because that's very important. Also, I would not recommend bringing any Percocets or any type of painkillers or muscle relaxers with you. I understand um, that we hear, unless your doctor says it's okay, unless your doctor says it's okay. But sometimes, especially in the Dominican Republic, people say that the medicine doesn't work as strong or whatever. But the thing is, you have to understand that when you're taking med their medication on top of the Percocets that you're taking, that can cause a lot of issues and a possible overdose. So we want to be safe. Don't take your own medicine without asking. Very important. Okay, so I got like little tank tops from Walmart. They're like $3. A lot of people wear them under their Faja. So little tank tops, $3, Walmart. Something simple. <clears throat> I got, <coughs> I'm talking about coughing, goodness gracious, <clears throat> excuse me, so I also got um, compression socks, <coughs> I'm so sorry guys, <clears throat> I feel like I have something in my throat. Okay. Compression socks. More. <clears throat> House slippers. You know, comfy. Good more. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> okay. Um, slides. Just because my slides. I got these from like Marshalls. I actually got these and this from Marshalls. Like this is on sale for like eight bucks, ten bucks. So slippers and slides. Another tank top. Um, I also brought robes. Um, they recommended bringing robes. I got something which I did not think about. So I had bought this like really fluffy robe, and did not think that I was gonna be um in the Dominican Republic in July. So I'm just going to keep that for home and I got more lightweight robes like this because it will probably be hotter than the devil's ass, okay? So lightweight robe, I got two of them. I think that should be fine. Um, I heard at the recovery house I'm saying like they do your laundry and stuff for you, so I only got two. Um, little sundresses, you know what, they're still in the bag of my car. I think I'm going to do this. Um, so I got some from Shane, Shein, Shin, Shane, you know, Shane, Shein, whatever. I got it from there and, um, they were like five bucks. So just little sundresses like this, like that. Um, and I gotten, so I got some from Shane, I hate saying that name. And I also got some from, um, H&M that was on sale for like eight bucks. Honestly, I didn't realize how expensive some sundresses can be. Like, I, you know, I went to, like, Walmart and Target. Some were, like, $30. Like, that's insane. So, I mean, just shop around for them. Like, even Marshalls, you know, shop around for them. Don't, I wouldn't spend that much because, you know, you know, I get blood on them or whatever. Um, I also have my pillow that I have strapped in here, and I'm just not going to take it out. Because I just feel like I want my own pillow. So, there's that. Um, a blanket just because, you know, I don't know, like 
what if like this i don't know the sheets aren't clean or something i don't know i mean if they have stains on them or something i'm really weird about that so just something to like lay over or have just a blankie you know what i mean whatever makes you feel comfortable because you know if while you're recovering you're gonna want to be as comfortable as possible so i kind of that's why i brought my little blankie my pillow because i'm like five um so i brought that and that's all i have packed so far um i'm gonna bring in my tablet of course um headphones and my phone obviously so there's that i actually have a list too because i know i'm forgetting some things um but I wanted to go ahead and make the video before I forget, because I just know I will. So, here are the things that I'm going to pack still. Um, constipation pills. Excuse me. Deodorant. Deodorant. Yeah. Probably going to need that. Um, Tylenol PM. Um, I heard that is okay to take. Again, every medicine vitamin supplement i am saying please ask your doctor before taking it and again i would not recommend bringing any type of um percocets or painkillers of that sort um without asking your doctor first because like i said you are taking their medicine as well um hairbrush hair ties headband <clears throat> benadryl i got my pillow and the arnica tea yeah i have that down because i really want to try out that arnica tea i heard a lot of good things about it um, so I'm going to try out that Arnica tea and then the, um, Arnica tablets. Am I saying that right? Arnica or is it Arnica? I don't know. I showed you guys though. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much everything. I heard that Dermaplast, um, stuff is pretty good. Um, whenever you get massages too, I'm not sure if I'm going to get that. I'm going to look a little bit more into that. Um, but as for that, I think that's all I'm bringing besides my, um, beauty in a box um the beauty in a box comes with an extension cord um pads um like a female urinal like i said insures white t-shirts it comes with a few stuff like i said i'll put the link below so you guys can look it's a whole bunch of stuff so that's what i'll be bringing as well it's in like a little box so i'll be bringing that too i just am kind of like i guess looking for i don't know I'm trying to pack everything because I'm going to be out there for 12 days. So I want to make sure that I have everything. I'm not missing anything and that I am comfortable. So, and your doctor should also send you out a, um, a list that's of stuff you got, need to bring as well. If you're staying at, um, an Airbnb, um, you know, with a private nurse, you might need more items. Like I said, recovery houses usually offer more of like the gauze, the tape, you know, the dressings, they'll change you all that good stuff. So, um, just kind of look into that because it kind of varies. Um, also I have been, um, trying to like prep myself for, like for surgery. I've been taking the vitamins that were listed, which I'll make a whole separate video on that. And I've been trying to lose seven pounds, but this ballerina tea, let me tell you, it's like the truth. And I'm going to do a whole separate video on that because that's how much of the truth it is. So, but other than that, I really think that's everything. I mean, should I bring like some perfume? I don't know. I probably will. Um, oh, another one is um, if you're going to the DR, bug spray. Bug spray. That's what the Beauty in the Box is also coming with. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have packed. Let me know if this video helped you, if I'm missing anything, if I... Um, blab too much which i probably did and i'm sorry but i just hope this video helped you guys and um let me know if i'm missing anything or if there's anything else i could add let me know and good luck guys good luck future dolls